Hey y'all, look, so I got something to talk to y'all about that y'all really, really have to understand. You know, when you realize that everything is spiritual first, you will begin to understand why people move and operate the way that they do. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to give y'all an example. Um, I was talking to, you know, a lady and she was just kind of telling me about her situation or what was going on. Because, you know, people be emailing me. I'm, once I get where I want to be, y'all will see everything y'all need to know regarding, like, my email on every video. I'm going to have an intro. I'm building up to it. It's just I got a lot going on right now, you know. Life is life for everybody. So one thing y'all just got to keep in mind is people are going to show you who they are. And when they show you who they are, believe it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to remember, these devils, you know, these dark, low-level energy vampires, these demons, whatever you want to call them, they inhabit bodies, right? So, you know, when you find yourself venting, you need to be able to discern who is a comfortable space for you mentally, emotionally. Do the, does this person have the capacity to hold what it is that I need to let off, right? You know, and I, and I say that because I know how I am. Somebody called me up. They want to vent about, you know, what's going on in life. I, I may not have the capacity to want to take, because, you know, everything is energy. So when you are venting, you are letting energy off. Like you, like any negative thoughts or emotions, when you vent to someone, you're letting off that negative energy to that other individual, essentially. It, it doesn't matter if it's intentional or unintentional. That is the exchange. And when you share good news with someone, that is also good energy. That is exchanged back and forth. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, you know, I'm just simply letting y'all know what it is. So these, you know, demons, you know, shall we say, when you vent and you and, and let's say you having a, a rough patch, like, you know, money's tight, money, your money's messed up. Maybe you're getting evicted, you know, something bad is temporarily happening. And I say temporarily because we always bounce back, you know. So temporarily, you're going through a little rough patch in life. The That's when they want to wanna try to come in and pretend like they got sympathy and empathy and they can empathize with your situation. And, you know, they may even go so far as to suddenly be so helpful and pretend to be kind and all it is because see they using that they're using your vulnerability of going through a bad situation to essentially get a gain well if i do this then when they get their stuff together they owe me times two type deal so all i'm saying is be careful who you've been to discern and and what i'm saying is because i remember this ex-co-worker she was all like well make sure if you vent you vent to me and only me and just me first off you a co-worker that's one two um i really don't even know you i've only known i don't know you at all i know of you like i know your first name i know your last name i know some of the things you choose to share but some of the things that you choose to share is it the truth or is it you know i'm not in your private life i'm not in your daily life to know what is true and what is not however you know what i'm saying they always reveal themselves when they get caught up in lies you know they say one thing some time goes by, the subject comes up again. Now it's a different story. Liar. I mean, they, they show themselves to be liars and manipulators and all types of things. They never want to be seen as a bad person. You know, they never want to be seen as, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. But anyways, all I'm saying is, it's like when she said that weird stuff, there was just this long pause because I didn't say anything. But there was this inner voice that was like, 
be careful who you vent to. And I'm like, you right, you right. Matter of fact, I'm going to back up off of Chickadee because it's like, what is up with you? You you just give me weird vibes. And it's really to that point that if I engage in conversation with somebody and I get weird vibes, you're more than likely somebody that does not need to be around me or in my circle. And a lot of y'all got to realize your power. You got to realize that when you are truly anointed and you are on God's side, I mean, so what you don't go to church on Sunday or Saturday or, you know what I'm saying? Church is in your heart. How's your heart looking? You know, you got a pure heart, a good heart, a kind heart. What's your heart space like? Because that is how God judges everybody. You know, there's a lot of devils in the church, y'all. Y'all think based on these movies and tele uh, television and these programs, you know, that the devil comes with this pitchfork horns and is red. How surprised would you be if Satan looked just like you and just like me? A, a, a simple woman or a simple man. How shocked would you be? You got to remember, sometimes when people come into your life, the devil just like God sends people into your life to carry you through the bad times or to help you accomplish goals or when you just really, really need a miracle or you really, really need a blessing, God will send someone to aid that blessing because that blessing you've been asking for, waiting on, that person brought it to you. And you have to realize your power. When you bless people with money, with help, with your kindness, with your words, with your essence in general, in anything that you say or do. Your words are powerful. Your actions are powerful, especially when the God in you is powerful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is, you know, you got to realize how anointed and covered and divinely guided and blessed and protected you are. They talk a big talk, but they can't walk that walk. You know what I'm saying? They they talk that big game. They try to bully. They try to manipulate. They try to lie. But see, when you ask God, hey, you know, like this, this is, I'm speaking for those who are still learning discernment. You know, discernment is you trusting your intuition. For a long time, I always went against my intuition. I would have a gut feeling, don't go here this day. But then... I'd probably go and then I wish I hadn't type deal. You know what I'm saying? We're all guilty of not following our intuition. You know what I'm saying? But when you begin to, and see, and see that's that's an inside job. That's self-mastery. When you get that feeling on it, when you, when you get that inner voice that's just like, you probably should do this or you shouldn't do that. You can't let anything outside of you guide you. OK, if you have if you if you have an issue and you pray on it or in my case, this is what I do. This is just me and my personal relationship with the divine. Like if I'm frustrated and I'm mad, I'll curse God out. I do. I will use profanity and everything under the sun because at the end of the day, I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. I have these human emotions and they need to be out. I may not want to vent to nobody. So even though my cats be looking at me crazy, like, why mama talking to herself? I ain't talking to myself. I'm talking to God. Mind your business, kitty cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'll talk out loud to God or I'll journal. Like, I'll be like, dear God. And I'll write whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm thinking, because that's my form of venting. Because in, I'm sorry, but just now in this day and time, it just ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, even if I journal, I can always burn that shit. Because whether y'all know it or not, fire fire purifies things. So if I sit there and I'd be like, man, I need a miracle. Like, God, I need $3,000, you know, because X, Y, Z, this, that, the third. And I write it down. And then I go, I go outside and I just burn it. And, and the papers and the ashes and, and then is no longer in my mind. Do you know suddenly I will receive $3,000? That's called manifestation. 
Manifestation is, you know, you bringing into your reality what you need at the right time, at the right moment. See, a lot of y'all, see, this is, <laughs> a lot of y'all got money problems because, you know, that narcissist and that toxic person in your life depleted your bank account, your resources or whatever, and you're having to start from scratch. I want to let you know it's okay that you got to start over. It's okay. Yeah, you may not be the wealthiest, you know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. God always takes care of his. If your electric bill is $400 and you ain't got that money, let's say you got $150. God is going to bless a stranger to magically give you the exact amount that you need to go with the $150 you got to pay that $400 bill. All right? You know what I'm saying? A miracle is going to happen where... They call you and give you a refund check and they, or they may waive the bill. Oh, there was a, there was a, um, uh, uh, a mathematical error. Uh, we sent you that bill by mistake. You don't owe us nothing. You're up to date. You're, you're fine. I've had these things happen to me. Just like right now, people trying to get money out of me, you know, bills coming in and I'm like, where the hell did this come from? Why is this like the stuff don't make no sense, right? But this is how God works too. When a lot of things out the blue start happening, I've been getting all, I'm, I'm going to just use my life experience. So I've been getting bills and it's like, why the hell am I getting this bill? Like this don't make no sense. I be agitated, right? Because it's like, what the fuck? I don't owe you people nothing. Why are you sending me something? And then what makes it crazy is when you look at the time frame, you're trying to charge me going back to COVID when COVID first started, 2020. It's 2023. Why are you sending me a bill from two, three years ago? You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. And when it don't make sense, it's time to go ahead and rectify the situation. So then when I get on the phone and I'm calling the people up, they're like, oh, our bad, our mistake. Yeah, you got damn right. It is your damn bad and your mistake because let's make it make sense. If you didn't put that in collection, y'all, they be quick to put shit in collections. Y'all know that. So, I mean, years and you ain't put nothing in collections, though. You ain't sent the invoice, though. You ain't sent the bill, though. A final notice, though. Hmm, suspicious, very, very suspicious, right? But see, I'm at a place in my, you know, spiritual journey with God that I don't worry. Even though I was getting agitated, like, what the hell? You know, all of a sudden, the same, see, that, that to me, I'm not going to blame Satan, but I'm going to say that's a satanic tactic because it's like, I got other stuff going on. And then all of a sudden, all these damn bills out of nowhere. And it's like, question mark, question mark, question mark. Like, what the hell? Two plus two is not math in the four. So that's it. And when you feel confused, that's an attack, y'all. A psychic attack. You know, all these bills. Okay, well, I got to get her stressed out. I got to make her worry about bills. I got to. No, 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 honey. I'm very optimistic. If I get pissed off enough, let, let me tell you one thing that anger does for me. I don't know about you, but what anger does for me, it gets things done. Let's say I ain't talked to God in a little minute. You know, God been trying to get my attention, you know, and maybe God had this happen because he knew I was going to get upset enough to start talking to him. Right. So then I start talking. He talks back because as soon as them bills came in, they disappeared. Right, but you, y'all, some of y'all gotta understand. Sometimes when bad things or things, situations that don't make sense, or if you know, it's it comes off strange. Like what the hell? And you just questioning. Sometimes that is also God's way of wanting you to talk, to communicate, to maintain this relationship. You know, y'all gotta understand. Satan is very, very busy right now because this is the end. This is the end. And in the end, he's trying to pull and take as many souls as he can with him. And I ain't trying to preach to y'all or nothing. 
I just want y'all to see a spiritual aspect, you know, because y'all got to understand a lot of y'all, you know, you wonder why your finances is being attacked. Hello? Keyword, attacked. Why? You got, you got, you got to sit down and wonder, why is my money, you know, funny? Like, why is my finances being attacked? You got to understand when God has blessings, and on blessings, on blessings, on blessings for you in store. Satan knows what God has for you. Ain't no way he don't know. Because if he didn't know, why is he trying to sabotage? Why is he trying to delay? Why is he trying to block? Why is he creating obstacles in your path? If he didn't know what was waiting for you on the other side of all that BS. Just saying. So a lot of y'all, y'all be stressed out. Oh my God, bills, bills, bills. Give it over to God. You know what I'm saying? If you got to talk out loud. See, a lot of people, you know, are just so traditional. Oh, I got to get down on my hands and knees and close my hands. And, you know, I don't do none of that. I renounce the religion. That's religious. I can just sit here, just like I'm talking into my damn phone right now. About to drop this video for y'all is how I be talking to God. Profanity and all, because at the end of the day, my personality is my personality. What's up? You got a miracle for me, baby. Like, like I be laughing at myself, and I'm pretty sure God be laughing at me too. But you knew who you know who I am nonetheless. So why am I gonna fake who I am? Some people think, oh, that's blasphemous. You can't, I could talk to God however I choose. Because at the end of the day, my heart is in the right place. Because after, after I get done crying, after I get done uh, venting my anger, after I get over my little sadness, after I'm no longer stressed, pissed off, or whatever your emotion is, even when you happy, it ain't, it ain't always when you got to be in a bad emotional place, but you could be in a good emotional space too. But let me tell you, God hears everything. He don't listen. He don't he don't hear the prayers of these demons though. Why they why they in the churches clapping, hallelujah. Hallelujah, playing in tambourines and triangles and shit. You at home in the comfort of your own home, your own space, having your own little church within your heart, either by writing it down. I'm not saying you gotta do what I do. I'm just telling you what I do. Because at the end of the day, it's all about your heart. See, some people try to figure it out. Because, you know, the, the the narcissistic stalkers, they out there lurking and watching my channel. Always trying to watch and see what I'm saying. Sending their little flying monkeys to come on my channel. I don't care. Because my message is for other people like me. Because I'm still helping people realize what they've been dealing with. What they've been going through. You know what I'm saying? I, my subscriber count is continuously going up, whether it goes up slow, whether it goes up fast. I'm not focused on my subscribers or the number of viewers or the number of likes. That is not why I did my channel. But that goes to show you a narcissistic person trying to ride my coattail and, and get some clout. You know what I'm saying? Look, y'all, they worried about the wrong things. God knows in my heart when I bring y'all messages. I'm bringing y'all messages, good messages, regardless of if profanity is used. You know, I'm trying to clean that up for this year, but I went hard with it last year because I don't like fake people. I do not like fake Christians. And I want y'all to realize that there is a great separation between Christians and people who are Christ conscious. What do I mean by Christ conscious? Meaning the people who truly, truly embody Christ in mind, body, and spirit. There's a lot of devils in the church, y'all. I told y'all, these devils use God. They use the Lord name in vain. They use it blasphemously because they'll talk to you about John 3, 16, love. But they got hate in their heart. See, we are humans in these bodies. We cannot see the heart of another. But I tell you what we can do. We can feel it. That's why I tell y'all, follow what you feel. 
You feel somebody being shady, they being shady. You ain't tripping. And that's the, and, the, and that's where they try to gaslight you. You tripping, Shawty. You tripping. I ain't shady. I ain't bad. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Why are you trying to convince me that you ain't disloyal? That you ain't dishonest? That you ain't a cheater, a liar, a user, a manipulator, a thief, a abuser, a whatever? Why are you trying so hard to convince me? I don't need you to convince me. I got eyes to see. I got ears to hear. And I have a spirit that can feel if your ass is lying. Like, y'all know when people be lying. Y'all just, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They, y'all, these fools be eating it up. How do you fool a fool? By being a fool. Like, not being a fool, but you fool a fool by pretending to be a fool. See, wise people don't speak on everything. There's no need to call them out like, you're lying. You're full of shit. Hey, you, I seen you steal. I thought, no, 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 no. Mm. There's no need for us to call people out. Peep game. When you see somebody stealing, from another individual, don't think they ain't going to steal from you. When you see somebody lying or cheating on somebody else, don't be like, why would you be foolish to date or have interest in someone that is a cheater? Because if they did it to another person, they'll do it to you. That is character. That is personality. You know, money cannot buy character. Character comes with a moral compass of standards, values, you know what I'm saying? Narcissistic and toxic people, they fake it, but they always reveal their hand. Okay? And I want y'all to realize, you just really got to keep your eyes open, your ears open. You can't be sleepwalking right now. You can't. If you sleepwalking, you good as dead out here. You, you are basically opening yourself up to be, you know, a target, essentially. Now, don't get it twisted. A lot of y'all got to understand. Some of y'all be wondering, well, well, why did the narcissist or why did this toxic person target me? Well, let me tell you. And, 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 and it's not because, you know, a lot of people who have low self-esteem or low self-confidence, a narcissist or toxic person beat them down. They, they over time, chiseled away at those people's confidence, their self-esteem, their, their self-value, their self-worth, their self-respect, their self-love. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's without the person even realizing that this person is chipping away at you little by little, little by little, until they are just this hollow person in an empty shell and they don't even know who they are and they got to go and rediscover themselves, refine themselves, figure out what happened to the person they used to be to the person that they are now. You know, it's a process, y'all. It is a process when you are dealing with narcissistic abuse, for reals. And it's nothing more than just demon y'all i mean it depends on your mind how you look at it but these people are low energy low level you know they don't have a vision they they you know they don't have any creativity they always steal from someone else mimic other people because they're copycats um y'all just gotta realize these things you know, from a spiritual aspect, I would just want y'all to know that when bad things happen to you, just sit back, you know, because I want y'all to always keep in mind that when a situation seems like a struggle, you know, I want y'all to remember that your problem is like this big, all right? That That is how big your problem truly is. OK, that is how big like in your mind. Oh, you're panicking and you're stressing. And let me tell you something. Satan wants you to feel that way. 
Because as long as you feel out of line, out of alignment, imbalanced, and you feel like angry or sad, it's hard for you to manifest. It's hard for you to create. God sent us here to create. God has us here with talents and gifts to share with the world, to be an inspiration. Inspiration, sim- inspiration or inspired simply means in spirit. So in spirit, I'm just giving you encouragement to keep it pushing, to don't give up, to keep going because we are unbreakable. They strive to break you. If they weren't able to break, let's say, I'm going to use my life as an example. So in 2021, I hit zero. Bank account, savings, zero. I was cleared the hell out. My bum ass cousin living with me. You ain't helping me pay no bills. I was stressed out because it's like I'm in the position of transitioning from one job to this job. You know, I had some medical stuff going on. I had like a whole bunch of stuff going on. And it's like all I could see was bills, bills, bills and money, money, money just piling up, piling up. But I ain't got nothing in the bank. Y'all. Y'all. My dead grandmother had money for me. Do you do you know the exact amount of money she had for me was the exact money that I needed to pay all them damn bills when I had no money in the bank? It ain't no coincidence. There are no coincidences. The word coincidence is just BS cuz there's no such thing. I had a problem I told God, see, and this is how Satan works. Satan's come, Satan will come to you in your dreams. Cause I remember at that point I had a dream and, um, basically an individual came to me and essentially they didn't say it verbally, but it was the emotion that I felt behind, you know, I I can't describe it other than it was a feeling. And the feeling was an intuitive feeling from my spirit that this individual was willing to help me out financially for my soul. And was I and and was it and was I willing to risk it all for the biscuit? My soul is everything to me. No. And I remember I woke up and I just was like, I rebuke it, I rebuke it, because it just I just had a bad energy from that dream and I banished it and I went right back to sleep. And after I did that, I slept good. And next thing you know, everything was taken care of. So understand you're going to be tested. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shared that story with really nobody except y'all, whoever watches this. And somebody obviously needed to hear this. I don't know who it's for, but if it resonates with you, then hit that like button. Share it with somebody that might need some encouragement, some help to understand what these devils, because there's a lot of demons out here, y'all, a lot of them, okay? And they, these, you got to understand, when you got the spirit of God in you, and them devils know it, they see it, they smell it, they sense it, they use every aspect to know and you got to remember y'all sometimes when people approach you they're not approaching you to do good for you to add to you to help you you just got to be cautious and question why is this individual approaching me what does this individual want from me You know what I'm saying? There are genuine people out here who don't want nothing, who will genuinely help you out the kindness of their heart and not expect anything in return. But that's where discernment comes in. You got to discern who's who. And unfortunately, time is a factor. You, You know what I'm saying? Only time will tell. Well, over time, you need to pay attention to patterns of behavior. That'll tell you everything you need to know about an individual. Now, if you're able to catch on three months, because I'm going to give y'all, I'm going I'm to drop some gems. A narcissistic toxic devil cannot pretend longer than about three to four months. When you get to be five months plus, you really get to see who they are because they get comfortable. See, Satan can't help but get cocky and arrogant and show his show his ass 
And when he shows his ass, you turn around and give him your ass to kiss, okay? All right. Peace, positive energy, always creates elevation. Bye, y'all. Stay safe in these streets. But more importantly, stay dangerous.